Hey everybody, my name is Jamie Adcock. I'm also known as the Running Diva Mom. I'm a running coach and personal trainer for women. And today I'm joining you from my boutique fitness studio located in downtown Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to have you work along with me to a at-home, no equipment needed, glute workout. This workout is great for runners that want to strengthen their glutes and do some cross training of the lower body. Again, no equipment is needed, but you're either going to need a tall, sturdy chair or an open space against your wall. We're going to get started here behind that chair or against the wall doing some glute activation exercises. You're going to be facing the wall or the chair. Now we're going to pick up the heel on one foot. You can even pick the foot up to your shin. And we're going to kind of get lazy here. You're going to, if you're picking up the right foot, you're just going to drop your weight to the right side. And then you're going to engage that left glute as you press the heel down and rise. Here's another angle. Drop, push down, and rise. Really activating that left glute. We're also strengthening our ankle here. Give me about 10 on this side. Spread out your toes on that foot. Two more. And relax. Body weight's going in the other foot. You're picking up that heel or the whole foot. And then we're going to dip to the other side and engage that glute. Shoulders back, chest forward at all times. Spread out the toes on the planted foot. And give me four more. The more you bend the knee, the harder this will be. One more and relax. Now we're going to do some standing rainbows with our legs. We're going to face the wall or our chair again. Lock your um, chest and your hips up with that object and let's balance on the left foot as you take the right foot behind you. The toes are at the floor. Now we're going to keep the foot flex as you pick it up behind you. Cross over the left foot now. Pick it back up and lower down. Now as you do this, those hips stay facing your chair or your wall. There's no rotation away from it. Again, foot is flexed as you engage the glute. Try not to lean into the chair too much. We want the shoulder over the hip, hip over the heel. Give me four. Last three, again, no rotation here. Two, almost done with this side. And relax. Now let's balance on the other foot. Stand nice and tall as you extend the other leg with a flex foot. Pick the heel up, cross and tap on this side. Lock the hips and chest up with your wall or your seat. Try not to use your lower back. Give me five. Three. See if you can pick that heel up even a little bit higher. Last one. And relax. Now we're gonna go into some lateral lunges. We're gonna do lots of repetition on one side to really work that one glute. Make sure you have room on both sides of you. We're gonna take a big wide step, feet are parallel, toes in front of the heels. Now push the hips back and down, knee naturally bent and it's placed over that heel. You're gonna push back through that heel. Let's do that again. Hips back and down, knee over the heel. Both feet remain parallel to each other and flat on the ground. Make sure that your inner foot that isn't moving isn't rotating like this on its side. The chest is forward and the chin is up. 
Now let's add some arms. We're gonna lunge and raise. Bring it down, push back. Again, lunge and raise. Bring it down and back. There's a nice bend at the elbows and you're lifting in the chest so that your arms are parallel to the ground. One more on this side. And relax. Now let's take that to the other side. Just the lunge, please. Wide step, feet parallel, hips back and down. You should feel it in the moving glute. Push back through the moving foot. Now 90% of your body weight's in your moving foot. 10% remains in the foot. That's grounding you at center. Again, hips back and down. Should feel a nice stretch in the opposite adductor in that inner thigh. Now let's add those forward arm raises. Not only working the shoulders, but causing you to pause a little bit here and further challenge those glutes. Give me two more. Give me one more and relax. Now it's time for some body weight squats. We're gonna have our feet about hip width apart and you're bringing your toes out to the front corners. We're gonna hinge back with the, at the waist and then bend at the knees. So hips come back and down, knees over the heels. And then reverse, hips back and down, lower through those heels. Now we're trying to get our thighs parallel to the floor. We're also trying to get our back parallel to the shin. And you can do whatever feels natural with those arms. With the feet, your heels are taking your body weight. Your toes are staying spread out and down. Your chest is forward. Your chin is up and your eyes are up. Give me two more. See how deep you can get here. And relax. Now, we're gonna take everything down to the mat. We're gonna go on our back for some glute bridges. If you're already comfortable with glute bridges, you can feel free to take a resistance band and place it above your knees about two to three inches around the thighs with some lateral tension. Feet are hip width apart and parallel to each other. Hands are down by the feet, but you shouldn't be able to reach the feet. If you can touch your heels, you need to adjust your feet here and walk them away from your body. Now, push the heels down. Thrust the hips away and up, using your bottom to lift the torso. And then the hips come away and down. Hips leave your body and lift. They leave your body and lower. Inhale up, tighten, exhale down, release. Now at the top, you want those hips approximately between the shoulders and the knees, trying to make both your torso and your back flat. The shin should be perpendicular to the ground. Your heels are again taking your body weight and the toes remain down on the mat at all times. You're also pressing through those shoulder blades and trying not to use your palms. Let's do one more. And relax. Now, we're gonna go in the prone position on our stomach. I'm gonna go into alternating contralateral limb raises. Now, we're on our stomach. Our toes are pointed. If you don't have shoulder limitations, those arms are overhead with a slight bend at the elbows. If you do have shoulder limitations, please bring those elbows down to your side at 90 degrees. Forehead is rested on the mat. And what we're gonna do is lift our opposite arm and our opposite leg. While we lift the head, you're gonna remain looking down in a neutral position. So think of tucking your chin to the chest and giving yourself a double chin. So let's try the head first. Tuck the chin in, lift the head. Now let's lift the right arm and the left leg and come down. Other side, head, arm, leg. 
Now as you lift the arm, you're squeezing the shoulder blade on that side in your upper back. As you lift the leg, you're not only lifting the lower leg, you're also lifting the knee and the thigh using your core, not your lower back. If you're feeling this in your lower back, you're probably using it. Those hip bones are your pedestal. You're high on those hip bones. Give me four more sets. Three more sets. You're still looking down. Last two. Tighten your butt. Final set. And relax. Now we're going to roll over onto our back and we're going to do some single leg glute bridges. We're going to have our legs bent just like we were doing with the regular glute bridge. But we're going to keep one leg bent now and extend the opposite leg. That foot should be flexed. Now I should mention if this position is too challenging, if you have tight hamstrings or glutes, you can also bend your leg to 90 degrees and wrap your hand around the back of your thigh. Now, we're going to push the hips away and up, just like with a regular bridge. So let's do that now. Hips away and up. Keep those hips level. As you lift that leg, you want to stop here once those thighs are parallel to each other. Make sure the leg isn't up here. And then we're going to reverse that hips away and down. Again, hips leave and lift, thighs parallel, hips leave and lower. Inhale up, tighten the glute, exhale down, release the glute. Now look at your hips, they should be level at the top. One hip shouldn't be rising above the other. Now look at the knees, they should also be next to each other. Focus on using that left glute, not using your back to do the lifting movement. If you're modifying, your hips are still level. You're still using that left glute. And your lower and your mid-back are both lifting, keeping just the shoulder blades on the mat. Give me one more. And relax. Now let's finish on the other side. We're going to extend the other leg or bend it to 90 degrees. Now push the right heel to the floor. Spread out those toes as you push the hips away and up. Thighs making an equal sign. And come down. Again, inhale up. Hips level and next to one another. Again, lift up. Knees next to each other. So if you look down, connect the dots, shoulders, hips, knee, and that extended heel. Make sure your toes on the planted foot aren't leaving the ground. Curl them down a bit. And if you're modifying, you're right here again, using the right heel, right glute. Big breath in through the nose, up. Longer exhale through the mouth down. Give me two more. One more. And relax. So that was just a quick and efficient glute workout that you could do from anywhere because it doesn't require any equipment. Make sure you're incorporating that into your weekly leg and lower body routine, and your cross training routine for runners. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a great workout.